welcome, it's Jeanette Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Um, well, it's a bit of a bleak day um, weather-wise here in my part of the world in Queensland, um, but I hope it's better for you guys. I know that uh, UK, Europe are in your winter now and you're having, you know, some not so nice weather and some not so nice things going on for us all at the moment in different ways, in one way or another. But I'm just hoping to bring a little bit of, I don't know, lightness and cheer to our lives, I suppose. Um, you know, if you don't want to watch the news and what's going on in the world, then... Uh, that that is the the you butte friendly gecko uh yeah if you don't want to watch what's going on in the world and you want to break away from it then either get in your own art space or um come and watch um the videos that i'll upload every day and lots of other youtube artists you know are um helping create a bit of bit of joy for everybody so um Sometimes it's best to escape. Escape. That's what I <laughs> I think is a good thing at the moment from the reality of it all. So it's just um, some escape. So I hope to bring you something uh, ooh, rare and exotic in just beautiful bright colours. Bright and uplifting, that's what I really want to go for today. So, and with a bit of negative space, if I can possibly get my body to accept that it's okay to have negative space or my head to uh, accept that it's okay to have negative space. Okie doke, what I'm doing here, this is just white um, that I've pre-made up with the pouring medium that's in the drop down box so that's just going to be my base so today i'm going to try and leave the negative space just in the center so we'll give it a go i'll give it a go just like i'll just try it so here we go so i will put i'm using up a bit of this is very black very kind of black navy that i'm just using up bits of the last bit of it so it's not going to be too much so hopefully it won't overtake so there you go that's that last bit of that um i've got a tiny little bit of um turquoise left all of these colors are the um global paints global impasto the my supplier is in the drop down box but you We'll be able to get these from Amazon um, in other countries, hopefully by the end of the month. <coughs> oh dear, I got a bit of a frog in my throat. Okie doke, this is the beautiful fluoro orange from the Global. It's really lovely. So, I mean, you're probably able to use the same... Um, brand paints what you've got at present to do the same thing obviously and they will do the same thing I believe so but this is a really nice bright orange so I really like it because it is nice and bright and you know how I love bright and we certainly need a bit of bright in our life at the moment all of us all of us all of us <coughs> And this is the, oh, what was it? The cool red. But I had put a good dash of the iridescent medium in all of these paints. But the other pouring medium is in the drop down box below this video. lovely lovely it's looking like a ring of fire <laughs> okay now to cool it down with this bright yellow which is the wattle yellow i believe
put a good dash of that in because I love the brightness of this. It'll lift it all up. Wowzers, trousers. Um, I will add a dash of the, what is it? It must be the fluoro, it is fluoro blue, fluoro blue, yeah. Wowzers, trousers. We have had some beautiful weather here and uh, lovely, uh, well of course it's our summer so it's lovely pool and beach weather. It is cooler today but um, still certainly not cold, can't complain at all. So, um, wow, there you go and I have a bit of my berry delicious left so I'll probably, hopefully, to use the last bit of this berry delicious around the edge in a it's a lovely colour lovely lovely very dark deep cherry black sort of aubergine colour so wow haha <laughs> Good day, good day, good day. I've got one last little drop. I'll put that in my. Okay, okay. Oh, I've got it all in there. Oh, I've got it all in there. Now I'm going to put just a little bit of white. Actually, I'll, yeah, I'll put a bit of white in. I think I've done one all the way around the edge like this for a long time. So sometimes it's good going back, sometimes it's not. You have to move forward, but I think I've done one similar to this, but not exactly the same. So now have I got any white left? Okay, I want some white to be able to blow this. Probably should have put it on a turntable and then it would have blown out better but never mind now what i'm going to do is i am going to blow it probably just with my straw actually i've got some um amsterdam titanium white just mixed with floetrol in here so i want to maybe i should give it a tilt here and there before i start blowing it just just nice and gentle because I, I want to kind of keep that shape that I have there so just keep going nice and gently and I don't want to lose that kind of space that I have in the center there but this way just a little okey doke that's still pleasant I like it I like it I like it okey dokey um what I'm gonna do is oh, I'm just gonna a little bit more dribble of that nice this is the same um very delicious because it's very delicious um I just want to put a little bit more because I'd like to see more of this berry delicious in there. Okay, lovely, absolutely gorgeous. Rightio, let's just try this bit by bit, I think. So I'm going to just add some of this flow troll where I want to blow it. Let me see how it works. I'll get my, just blow it by my. To uh, torch oh god i'm going bonkers um it's a stainless steel straw with a silicone end
lovely. I'm just gonna turn it around nice and slow, so take my time as you should. You just enjoy the process. So just squirting some of this Floetrol around the edge. Just gives me a little bit more lacing, as you see. Just nice and slow. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect, and I am definitely not one for uh, symmetry has to be perfect, or I like odd shapes, odd, I like off-center things. So remember, your art, your way, and that's the best way to uh, go about it, I believe. You do it your way. Where am I now? Okie doke, I might just try. I've got a little bit of navy in the, or is it black? No, it must be black. Mixed of, it's just the Amsterdam paint and Floetrol. I just want to put some wispy bits in there. So this is just kept in a container for me to just use. Maybe I'll just try it with a stick. Just let me see. Oh yeah, that works okay. I usually do it with a piece of card or something. I just want to put some wisps in there. And it just makes the... I'll bring the camera down in a second. Just makes it um, sell it up beautifully in those little wisps. Just dip in the um, stick in and just going for it. Just put in a few wisps in there so it... Fantasy and exotic, that's what it reminds me of. I'm probably saying no, absolutely not. But I've still got negative space there guys and you know that I am not good with leaving negative space. So what I will do is I am going to allow this paint now to dry off a bit. I'm going to just let it absorb into the canvas and then I am going to come back and just, just balloon kiss these outer edges. And I think it will look pretty cool. Let me just try one balloon before I... I will hopefully leave this for about half an hour. Let me see what the paint's like. If the paint all falls back in, then you better to walk away and leave it. I mean, if you're used to doing these balloon kissing like I'm doing, you can basically work through that. Um, but if you're not used to doing it and you're having trouble with the balloon kissing falling in, just walk away and leave it for a little while. So let me move everything out of the way so I don't go and knock everything over. So here we go. We just try this. Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> yes, I should have another canvas handy for whatever re... Oh, look at that. That's actually really nice. So just do a bit of a roll. But as I said, if you have trouble with balloon kissing, it falling in, just walk away, leave it for half an hour, and then come back and try your balloon kissing. So I want to do this size balloon on these outer edges, and then I will use my smaller water-filled balloon to come back in and do on the, the, the more narrow edges. So you know that I said I was going to leave it. Well, it seems that I'm getting some really good 
uh, balloon kissing effects in this so I will just plod on with it that is it's absolutely gorgeous the colors are just jumping off the canvas guys oh and I get so excited when this happens when something <laughs> you know an idea you had in your head because I woke up thinking about this last night oh I'll do this and it, you know so it's really wonderful to have it you know coming together and turning out beautifully well I think it's beautiful and in the end that's all that matters is you what you're thinking that is pouring with rain outside um that is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous honestly those colors it must be the fluoro i'll just show you the fluoro colors are just popping popping off that canvas just beautifully so i'm gonna do this while i'm here with this is just an ordinary size balloon put over the the water tap a little bit of water in it just to get the weight but I only put water in my small balloons so you can kind of go back in even where you've done a balloon kiss with the bigger balloon push the balloon in the center of that kiss and then you get like these little um, beautiful effects you know that really does make it look like a, a flower and it's and a gorgeous um, stems in there so that's the little balloon doing its magic don't forget if you're not proficient with doing the balloon walk away go and have a cuppa and leave it for half an hour i will definitely finish off my edges but probably off camera because it's the boring bits but i like to balloon kiss the edges as well because that leaves a really nice effect on your edges to balloon kiss them so another little tip to pretty up your sometimes can be boring edges of your canvas it's just balloon kiss it and it looks cool let me turn this around and see what i've got at that end but that is really that one will look beautiful um when it's dried and resined because those colors will absolutely pop out of that so beautifully so i will just continue to play with this gorgeous little canvas that i'm very very happy with see i didn't swipe or do anything to the background colors today because i really wanted to just use the balloon as my um tool to create some effect and it really does an awesome job absolutely i'm absolutely loving that i hope you like it too i am tempted to put a balloon kiss in the center but i am going to try to restrain from doing that one today because i just love how it's turned out and it's again nice that I was able to leave the negative space, which I have great trouble in leaving negative space <laughs> in life and on the canvas. I do not like negative, <laughs> full stop. <laughs> Be positive in your life, hey? Even when things are going bad, I have to keep pinching myself and try and remember the good. Try and remember the good. I absolutely, absolutely love that and i really hope you do too because it is a stunner it's a stunner and i like it all right i'm gonna leave my um exciting babble and hope that you guys i'd love to see you have a go and if you um, are on facebook and you want to join our australian acrylic pouring group the link is in the drop down box so if you have a go at this and you want to post your efforts, it doesn't matter if you're a beginner or advanced because everybody is kind there. And um, if you need a question answered, there's always one of the um, kind members or 
chirping and try and help each other out, that's what we're all there to do. There are several moderators on that page that are really good in keeping it safe and on, um, what's the word, you know, on, tr on focus, because it's all about acrylic art, not anything else, not politics, nothing. That page is all about acrylic art. So, you guys, stay safe. Um, please join me again tomorrow and um, I'll have another hopefully a nice painting but I am so excited with that it is absolutely beautiful and that will pop its socks off when it has resin on it so bye for now and uh, till tomorrow